It was the first day, and it, there was like a 70 degree day, a very rare kind of day. So we went out and we were throwing. I felt fairly decent. Um, and I was throwing fairly far, a little bit over 200, so I got a little excited and, and really pulled on one. And I just felt a pop in my elbow, and I kind of knew what that was. And uh, I just kind of sinky, sinking feeling in my stomach, told coach, hey, I got to go talk to the trainer. I think I just did some of my elbow, and I just headed out. And I knew I was going to have a long road ahead of me there. I had elbow problems for a long time, pretty much since I started throwing javelin in high school. Leading up to the injury, I was figuring I may have to get Tommy John surgery someday, but when it actually snapped that one day in practice uh, two years ago, that's when I knew it. I didn't know what was going to happen. I was just hoping for the best. Starting off right after surgery, you pretty much can't do anything. So I think for two weeks, I was completely mobilized. I couldn't even hold anything in my hand. And then after that, you just start real slow. You get your range of motion back, which could take a long time. I think it took me like four weeks. You completely lose all your muscle at atrophies. So that was really hard because you kind of have to start from block one. And then once you get your range of motion back, you get your strength back at about month four, you start the throwing program. And it takes a long time. The recovery process was, was definitely a process of just trusting the Lord because so many, so many days I just felt like, there's no way I'm gonna throw this. Like, there's no way my elbow's gonna be healed from this. But I still had a passion for throwing, and I still believe that God was giving me this passion for a reason, so I just thought, like, if he wants to sustain me in this, then he's gonna do it, and I have to trust him and just kind of be faithful with what I'm supposed to do and try to recover as best as I can. Once you tear that ligament, it takes a long time for you to kind of get over that feeling in your head of, kind of hoping that that doesn't snap again. So coming back through the season, it was all about just building my confidence in my arm. And I still had some pain, but it, it was fairly sturdy. So I just kind of had to keep building the confidence and keep throwing further and further. Winning the 2015 Big South Men's Javelin title was his teammate from Liberty, Steve Feaster. Feaster had all six of his throws were longer than any of his competitors, including a throw of 220 and three inches, 67.13 meters in the very first round. The victories, like the Big South Championship or, or whatever else I, I did this year, is not so much saying, okay, now I'm worth something because I can throw the javelin far. You know, it's a thankfulness overflow that he's given me a gift that I can kind of turn back and, and hopefully somehow glorify him or represent the school that his goal is to glorify him. Every throw that I throw, I could easily tear, tear my ligament again. I put enough stress on my arm every day that I could tear it. And so getting out there so many times, it's easy for people to say like, look what, I, look what I've done, look what I've done. But because of my experience with surgery, I can't say that. Because every single throw, I know it could snap. And it doesn't. So every, after every single throw, I can say, thank you. Like, thank you for letting me be healthy this meet.